Example 1, given fx equals to negative x square minus 6x plus 8, find the stationary point, identify the nature of the point and determine the interval where the function is increasing or decreasing. For A, differentiate the function f prime equals to negative 2x minus 6, equate the derivative with 0 to find your x negative 2 x minus 6 equals to 0 so your x equals to negative 3 substitute x equals to negative 3 into the function so f negative 3 is equals to negative 3 square minus 6 times negative 3 plus 8 uh, so the value is 17 so you can conclude that the stationary point is negative 3 17 then we want to determine the nature of the point before we form the table we determine the interval so the value of x is negative 3 that means we have two interval less than negative 3 and greater than negative 3 for the table we have three columns the first column is for interval the second column is for sine of f prime and the third column is for gradient uh, write your interval in the first column, x less than negative 3 and x greater than negative 3. In the middle, okay, we write x equals to negative 3. Okay, now we want to determine the suitable values for each interval. For the first interval, x less than negative 3, okay, we can use negative 4. And for interval x greater than negative 3, Okay, we can use 0. So, substitute these two values into your f prime to get the sign. Uh, so, for the first one, when x less than negative 3, the sign is positive. And for x greater than negative 3, your f prime, the value is negative. When you substitute the value of x equals to negative 3, your value should be 0. So your gradient when the sign is positive, that means the gradient is increasing. Okay, 0 and then for x greater than negative 3, the gradient is decreasing. We can conclude that negative 3, 17 is a maximum point. Because from the left, the gradient is increasing, then decreasing. For C, we want to determine the interval where the function is increasing or decreasing okay the function is increasing on interval okay negative infinity to negative 3 because we want to determine the interval uh, so we change x less than negative 3 in the form of interval and decreasing on interval negative 3 to infinity <laughs>
negative 2 and 2 for x. So you have 3 interval less than negative 2 between 2 and negative 2 and greater than 2. We form the table. Uh, first, we write the interval. We have less than negative 2. Your x between negative 2 and 2 and greater than 2. Okay, determine the suitable value for each interval. Okay, let's say for this one is negative 3. For the second interval is 0. And for the third one is 3. Okay, substitute all the values into F prime. Because we want to know the sign of values. For x less than negative 2, the value is positive. Okay, for interval negative 2 to 2 is negative and the last one is positive uh, so the gradient for the first interval is increasing then decrease and then increase again okay so we can conclude that okay the function is increasing on interval negative infinity to negative 2 and 2 to infinity the function is decreasing on interval negative 2 to 2. Example 3. Given y equals to x cubed plus 3, find if exists the maximum and minimum point using first derivative okay, test. Okay, to find the uh, maximum and minimum, we have to find the stationary point. Uh, what is your first step? Okay, we have to find your f prime or your dy dx. So your differentiation with respect to with respect to x. Uh, so for this question, you should get three x square. Okay, three x square. Uh, then to find the stationary point, your first step, your dy dx must be equals to uh, zero. Okay, must be equals to zero. So three x square equals to zero. Okay, x square equals to zero. Uh, therefore, your x is 0. Uh, how you want to find the y? Okay, we substitute the value of x okay, into uh, your curve. y equals to x cubed plus, uh, plus 3. Okay, so y equals to uh, 0 cubed plus 3. Uh, y equals to uh, 3. Uh, so your stationary point okay, is 0, 3. Okay, now we want to test the nature, okay, whether it is maximum or minimum by using uh, first derivative test, okay, already stated in, uh, in the question. So, first we want to form a table. Uh, before we form a table, uh, we determine the, uh, the interval first. So, your value of x is 0, okay, you have 1 and 2, okay, 2 interval, okay, for the left one is less than 0 and for the right one the second one is greater than uh, 0 okay from your table okay this is your interval okay less than 0 and greater than 0 okay then we want to uh, determine the sign of dy dx okay and the last one okay we want to know the gradient okay for x less than 0 we can substitute let's say negative 1 and for greater than 0 you can substitute okay 1 Okay, substitute in your dy dx. Okay, that is 3x square. Uh, so if you substitute negative 1, you will get, okay, the sign is positive. Okay, and for x greater than 0, also positive. Uh, so both sides is increasing. Okay, if you refer back to the notes, that means this is uh, not a maximum or minimum. So we can conclude that the function, okay, has no extreme on. Hence, determine the intervals which function is increasing or decreasing. Let's look for the previous table. We can see that the gradient is increasing for both interval. So we can conclude that the function is increasing on interval negative infinity to 0 and 0 to infinity. Mm -hmm.